Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are continuing Mob Psycho episode number 4. I am looking forward to see more of Mob and more uh, of his character development and his connections that he makes along the way. I really like how they are explaining Mob's power. That basically that explosion meter was his emotions going wild so he doesn't know how to deal with them when they reach a certain point and every human has a breaking point so i really like that as a concept of mob's power it's really great man and i like how uh, untouchable mob is he is really strong and yet he's so shy and kind and uh, he wants to learn more about himself, he wants to blend in, he wants to impress a girl, he's living like a normal teenager life. Man. I really thought that it was pretty cool in previous episode how Reagan praised him that he saved those people that only he could save and Mob was really happy to hear that. So I was saying how I'm glad that Mob has someone like Reagan near him. Even though that Reagan might be a fraud or something, he seems like a good dude. I'm not gonna lie. Also, I felt sorry again for the telepathy club, <laughs> man. I hope that they manage to uh, stay close to Mob, and that Mob will hang out with them and at the same time work with the body improvement club. But we will see. I'm really excited for the next episode, guys. Last fight against uh, Dimple was crazy. It appears that like Dimple's fragment of a spirit or something uh, <laughs> is near Mob right now in his house. Mob woke up and this guy said something like, what's up partner or whatever. And <laughs> Mob's explosion meter immediately raised to 20%. So let's see what's that all about. Without further ado, let's jump into episode number 4. Let's go. Okay, episode number four, guys. Let's begin. Black Winter Middle School. Oh shit. That's Mob School. <laughs> this guy looks like Josuke from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. What the fuck? Oh, they got beaten up. Wow. Teru, trying to take advantage of everything I can. I'm the main character in this world. Wow, idiots only event. Interesting. Oh, we saw that. I listen to his voice, he's so... he sounds so friendly. <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> Instead, Mom beat the crap out of this guy. Why the fuck is he in Mom's house? How is he alive right now? I have ambition too. We saw your ambition. Become a god. Yep, he, he was trying to do that. Wow, this guy, bro. <laughs> Mob is definitely a wrong person to say that to. You just announced that you want to rule the world as a god. And discuss it with my master. Ah, oh, he's plotting something. What? Is he being serious right now? Yeah, regular people cannot see the spirits. <laughs> Mob is savage, man. 
Seasoning City, wow. Did he squash? <laughs> this guy is huge. Dimple is observing his life, basically. Naritsu is his brother. Yo! Nezato, the girl from the last episode. Wow. Alex says this little stuff. What is he up to? <laughs> is he fucking serious? And of course, it's his special mode. <laughs> Using fucking Photoshop. <laughs> Master Reagan is fucking best. <laughs> because he doesn't have any. Oh my god. This guy, bro, he's so annoying. I'm surprised that Moba loved him to stay. This is his POV. He legit can't see him. It's too quick for <laughs> oh my god, the excuses. <laughs> and he's saying it all natural, man. Regan is really good at this stuff. Brother was born with his psychic powers. Oh, he's giving her an interview. It's the standard of the world. Okay, this is interesting to see his perspective of his brother. We're looking for our god, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, those people who were at LOL for oh. the new religion. <laughs> wow. Holy shit, man. I really like his brother. He knows that Mob doesn't give a shit about that. Top of his class. He's great at sports. Wow. So he's completely opposite of Mob. But Mob has strong psychic powers. Wow, yeah, I mean, living with Mob, growing up with him. Okay, this is interesting. I wasn't expecting that we are going to dive into his brother's character as well. Oh, they're going together. Using my power would be pointless. Wow, look at this guy. He's like, you have all this crazy power and you're living normally. But that's what I adore about Mob. Masters. <laughs> That face. <laughs> he has all of that. Yep. Oh, this is so great. <sighs> How they both want to be like each other. Boom. They got fucked up, man. <laughs> Did he just flex his chest muscles? <laughs> Strongest bodies in Salt Middle School. <laughs> I like those names. Lover body squats, yeah. Leg days for a month, baby. <laughs> True. I like that. What the fuck, fool? <laughs> You're gonna get crushed. <laughs> oh, and then there is mob. 
<laughs> but he's actually the strongest here. Eight percent more. Oh my god, this show is so great and it's so hilarious and it's so wholesome all at the same time. There is the blondie. They're plotting to get their revenge. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he punched his face in here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Poor guy, bro. They are fucking nuts. A love letter. To Kageyama of the Body Improvement Club. How are you? I'm a girl, but Kageyama, I adore you. Is that adore? Or whatever. I'll be waiting for you at Ankle Park. Please come. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> is that literally misspelled? Yeah, I thought it was a door. <laughs> he thinks it's a fake. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, challenge by uh, Onigawara. You took real good care of us last time. Our helper will deal with you this time. So come to Angle Park. Bring as many as you want. Don't run away, you rice bastards. We received the challenge. You rat bastards! So it's the message from the same guy potentially who wants to make mob clash those guys, what? But he doesn't know that mob is actually strong, right? But I'm kinda confused. <laughs> <laughs> but he did. He's here. Wow. <laughs> He's such a nice guy. Someone is approaching him. Oh shit. If you have a gamma, if you want him back, fight us. Oh. <laughs> Pumped up 100%. Holy shit. So he wanted to use mob as a base. He thought that mob was a wimp. Okay, I see. Or should I say he allowed them to tie him up? Because he doesn't know what is going on here. Onigawara. Yep. True. <laughs> Dimple is hungry for more of that power. <laughs> He's upset. You really need to push mob far in order for him to use the power. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> what is this music? This is so epic! Oh my god! This is brilliant, guys! Bad improvement club, baby! Onigavara thought this plan through, man. Man, shut out to these guys. They're gonna get the loot, man. <laughs> this is so great. This guy looks like Pony from Attack on Titan. Jesus. Teru is the blonde guy. Oh, there he is. Teru-san! Huh? Oh, 
organized violence. Wow, he really called them fresh. Shadow leader. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus. This guy doesn't care about his comrades at all. Is this guy really super strong? He's talking his shit, bro. <laughs> oh my god, those insults. Oh, Onigawara is here. He was observing all of, all of this. What was that? Wow. So does this guy possess psychic powers as well? Oh my god. Are we about to get mobs rival? Yeah, it's not about muscles here. Yep. He also has psychic powers. That makes sense. Jesus, bro. He's not even touching him. Wow, look at this. Nah, he did something, definitely. Yo, what the fuck is going to kill this guy? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, he knows. I'm talking about your psychic powers. Holy shit. Progress toward mob explosion 45%. Oh my god, that's how they end. Okay, this is preview. Alright guys, that was my reaction to episode number 4. And I said last time that episode 3 might be my favorite, now episode 4 might be my favorite. The show is getting so good, guys. I'm speechless. First of all, we saw the contrast between uh, Mob's brother and him. Mob's brother envies Mob for his psychic abilities. And since they grew up together, Mob has set a standard for him and made psychic power seem like a normal thing and that's why his brother feels kind of bad because he can do it but then again he's handsome he's a top class student and he's amazing at sports he's everything that mob would like to be so i really like that and it seems like despite those things they have a good relationship still and that's that's so sweet, man. Mob is such a great guy, man. I wasn't expecting uh, to see like Buddy Improvement Club to go and save Mob immediately, man. Their uh, definition of people who are doing gym for the right reasons. Man. Their, their reason is not to fight. They just want to be healthy and they're just like good bros i think i can put it that way they immediately went to save mob so there was a fight between school mob school against uh, another school with those students in purple uniforms and it appears that this uh onigawara or whatever is his name who looks like josuke uh, he is the leader of the gang from the mob school and they were fighting these guys, they were doing pretty good until this guy, Teru, came with the blonde hair. And just like Mob, he doesn't seem uh, muscular or strong in a physical way, but he was very confident. And I like that we have a character like this, who is total opposite of Mob, who would gladly use his powers for his 
fullest advantage and the best life possible in his mind, of course. So when he beat the crap out of uh, <laughs> the guys from mob school, this freaking fool uh, made a mastermind plan. He sent a letter to uh, rival school, he sent a letter to mob and he sent a letter to body improvement club to mob that there is a girl who wants to see him to rival school that um, one of them will appear at the park to challenge them and to body improvement club that uh, mob is in trouble and <laughs> he basically orchestrated these events of course body improvement club guys handled those bugs like it was nothing but that guy teru is really strong or should i say good at using psychic abilities he basically tossed body improvement club around and that's the point where i realized oh shit he can use psychic powers as well but is he on mobs level i'm not quite sure he seemed kind of scared or shocked at the end when he saw that mob has psychic abilities as well and i like how mob immediately responded to him that uh, he shouldn't use that ability to harm people man. i really like mob amazing episode that was uh, the biggest cliffhanger so far can't wait to see next episode that's all for today thank you for watching guys i appreciate it i hope that you enjoyed if you did consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always Check out my Patreon page where I post full and early reactions, the link is in the description. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya guys.